In a distant African kingdom, Princess Arike stood out. Her body was curvier, her skin darker, and her laughter echoed like the songs of birds. But the courtiers whispered behind their silk fans, their eyes sharp with judgment. They called her, too much, unfit for royalty, and, a burden. Arike's heart felt heavy, but she refused to let their words dim her spirit. She wandered through the palace gardens, seeking solace among the vibrant blooms. The sun kissed her cheeks, and the wind carried secrets to her ears. It was there, beneath a towering baobab tree, that she discovered her true gift, the ability to listen deeply. One day, a girl named Zara approached. Her legs were twisted, making each step a struggle. The villagers pitied her, but Arike saw beyond the disability. She listened to Zara's dreams, the desire to dance, to twirl like falling leaves. Arike's heart swelled with compassion. She took Zara's hand and taught her to sway, to move with grace despite her limitations. Soon, the entire village gathered to watch Zara dance. They marveled at her spirit, her determination, and the joy that radiated from her eyes. Arike had turned Zara's perceived weakness into a beacon of hope. Word spread, and others sought Arike's counsel. The young man with a stutter found his voice as a storyteller, captivating audiences with his tales. The elderly woman with gnarled hands became the village healer, her touch soothing ailments and fears. Arike's gift wasn't just listening, it was empowering others to embrace their uniqueness. The courtiers noticed the change. They watched as the once dismissed members of the community thrived. Yet, jealousy brewed within their hearts. They plotted to tarnish Arike's reputation, to remind her of her supposed flaws. But Arike remained steadfast. She wore her colorful robes proudly, her laughter echoing through the palace. When famine struck, she rallied the people. She taught them to plant crops in barren soil, to find sustenance where others saw only desolation. The courtiers scoffed, but the fields bloomed, and hunger retreated. One moonlit night, Arike stood on the balcony, gazing at the stars. She knew her purpose, to use her perceived imperfections to uplift her people. She declared, I am not just a princess, I am a beacon of resilience, a mirror reflecting the strength within us all. And so, Arike's legacy spread. She built schools for the differently abled, where they learned not only letters but also self-worth. She danced with Zara, tended to the sick, and laughed with the elderly. Her radiant heart touched every corner of the kingdom. The courtiers, once scornful, now bowed before her. They whispered, Arike the Magnificent, Arike the Compassionate, and, Arike the Wise. But she remained humble, knowing that true beauty lay not in flawless features but in the kindness we bestowed upon others. And whenever someone dared to judge another, they would hear Arike's laughter carried by the wind, reminding them that goodness could sprout from the most unexpected places. Thank you for watching Story Zone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.